there my lovelies hope you guys are doing well and staying safe today i wanted to talk to you about a type of alopecia that um it's known as alopecia areata and it is a type of autoimmune disease so what do i mean by autoimmune disease a healthy immune system defends the body against disease infection but uh, if the autoimmune system malfunction as in case for autoimmune disease it mistakenly attacks body's healthy cells, tissues, and organ. And these attacks can affect any part of the body, weakening bodily function and even turning life-threatening. So um, alopecia areata or areata is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks the hair follicle at the root and causes hair to fall off. Normally, hair is protected from immune system attacks, but in a person with uh, alopecia areata, this protection is lost. Hair loss can occur in the scalp, face, eyebrow, eyebrows, lashes, nose hair, facial hair, and other parts of the body. And alopecia areata may impact the body in other ways. And it is especially true if somebody has hair loss on different parts of the body. They might experience uh, eye irritation, frequent runny nose, then a sneezing, sensitivity to temperature and sunburn, weakness or uh, breaking of wood. Uh, dermatologists do when looking at or to evaluate alopecia, alopecia areata, a dermatologist may look at different factors such as the amount of hair loss, the location of hair loss including eyebrows and eyelashes, and the length of time since diagnosis. Hair loss can be emotional experience, and it may be hard to talk about with others, but sharing feelings uh, can help manage the disease impact on everyday life. That's why I share my story with you. I, I have been dealing with hair loss for for since 2017 and I wanted to make sure that I can share my story and in turn learn about how it is affect affecting you. So what happens in um, alopecia areata is many people who develop this disease develop a round or oval bald patch, patch on their scalp and they have hair loss and sometimes nail changes but they remain in good health. The hair loss tend to be unpredictable. Hair may regrow without treatment. This happens more often when someone has a few bald patches, which I had initially, and when the hair regrows, it may fall out again or may not. That's what I'm experiencing now, which is a tremendous hair fall. So when does alopecia areata usually begin? It can begin at any age. How Most people, however, develop it during childhood and their teenage years. About half of them see their hair grow within 12 months without treatment. When the hair regrows, it may never fall again. It's also possible to have unpredictable cycles of hair loss and regrow for years. So is it genetic? Is it hereditary? If a parent has alopecia areata, so will a child get it? If a parent or close blood relatives have, has, or had alopecia areata, a child has a greater risk of developing the disease. While the risk is greater, not every child with this increased risk will get or develop androgenic alopecia. So what are some of the uh, new treatments available? Because hair loss greatly affects a person's quality of life, Researchers continue to study androgenic alopecia, and much of this research foc focusing on effective treatment. And this is giving new hope to patients like you, me, especially those living with widespread hair loss. I am lucky that I get bald spot, which is I'm getting again, and their dermatologists are con conducting much of this research. If you are an adult with widespread androgenic alopecia, your dermatologist talk to your dermatologist and he or she he or she may talk to you about the possibility of joining one of these studies alopecia areata 
it is the medical term for bald and when talking about treatment you dermatologist or physician may mention the types of alopecia that you have and there are three main types the first one is alopecia areata which is the medical term for bald again and it means an areata or area areata means patchy so this patchy baldness can occur or develop anywhere in the body including the scalp beard area eyebrow lashes armpits nose ears and and uh, that's the how uh, and alopecia areata works and then the second type of androgenic alopecia second type of alopecia areata is known as alopecia totalis which is a in, this is when the person lose all hair on the scalp so the scalp is completely bald and the third uh, type of and alopecia areata is alope alopecia universalis as the name suggests this is when the person lose all hair leaving the entire body uh, hairless and this is very rare so if you are having bald spot or in your scalp or face please or your um eyebrow please talk to a dermatologist and um, get treatment i as i say when i initially got uh, diagnosed with alopecia i had the bald spots and what my dermatologist did is uh, gave uh, steroid shot in those bald spots to stimulate hair growth and i just wanted to share with you about alopecia areata because I hear a lot of questions uh, about it and I'm hoping this have answered some of the questions you may have and please do let me know if you find this video helpful and what else you might you want me to talk about in future videos and until next time take care and bye happy viewing but don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already Take care. Bye.